My brothers and my sisters, do you realize that being appreciative is something that Allah Azza wa loves a lot? And it will actually make you feel good as a human being, just thanking people, being, you know, being appreciative of what you've actually got. In fact, not being appreciative makes you come close to the shaitan because the shaitan is someone by his nature, he, did, he doesn't appreciate what Allah Azza wa Jalla had given him. So when you're in your life with, let's just say, look, normal, you, you've got a roof over your head, you've got food on the table, you've got water to drink, honestly, compared to probably a third of the world right now, you are, you are very, very lucky just to have these things on, on, just in front of you. In fact, when you look at all your other comforts, like you've got carpet under your feet, or you've got some wooden flooring, you've got a nice sofa, you've got you know, technology around you which you enjoy, you've got parents, you've got family members, you've got, you know, even if you've got you know, things that, that are keeping you occupied and keeping you happy in one way, whatever it is, just think of it now, you're actually more lucky than half of the world. Half of the world don't actually have all these things, right? Then you go a little bit further. And you think that, you know what, I've got a good educational system, I've got, a, I've got a future to look forward to, I've got many opportunities to get jobs, I've got, you know, a, a, a whole business that my family has, or maybe I've, we've at least got good money coming in, we don't have rainy days, days that we worry, whatever. You know what, you've now moved a little bit more up in terms of that, and maybe you now you're, you're better than, you know, maybe know, three quarters of the world that you've got all these things. In fact, you should not be comparing yourself with actual monetary gains and actual things that you can measure like, oh, I'm in a four-bedroom or three-bedroom house and somebody else is in a five-bedroom house or I've only got this much as a bank salary or somebody else has got more than that. Why? Because when you compare people with, who've got more than you, you never can become appreciative. You can only become appreciative, as the Prophet ﷺ said, when you look in terms of this dunya, and you see people who've got less than you, less than you, that's when you become appreciated. That you say, oh, alhamdulillah. But when it comes to akhirah, the Prophet ﷺ said the opposite. He said, you should always compare yourself with people who are doing more than you. So if I'm thinking, well, I'm doing my five daily prayers, and let's say I'm doing my little bits of sadaqah and whatever else it is, I'm a good Muslim. Well, the Prophet ﷺ always told us to compare with people who've got, compare ourselves to people who've got, who are doing more than us in terms of the Akhirah. So they're doing the Tahajjud, they're doing the extra, extra thing, duties and so on. So compare yourself to that. So then you feel kind of, you know, I need to do a little bit more. You understand? If you do the opposite, so for example, when it comes to dunya, you look at people who've got more than you. And when you look at the Akhirah, you look at people who are doing less than you. You're in bad shape, bro. You're in bad shape, my friend. So do the right thing which the Prophet has, has told us to do, okay? And be appreciative. And you'll be closer to Allah and away from the shaitan. Hey, I'm a